Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Rectory. We just spent some time at the Cenotaph at St Mary's thinking about All Saints and also about the people who have been killed in war and continue to be killed in war. We're also praying for peace at this time and we are remembering. That's what we do in November. It's November now. It's autumn time. It's that little bit of time between the end of our ordinary time celebrations and the beginning of Advent when we think about the coming of Jesus. If you'd like to, please join in with me in this Taze chant. It's there is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There is one Lord, one faith, one baptism. There So if you'd like to pause the video and get some bread and some wine and join me with communion or just let the video play and we can pray together. I have some bread and some wine here on the table as we join together at this All Saints Tide in communion. And so let us pray the collect for All Saints Day. Almighty God, you have knit together your elect in one communion and fellowship in the mystical body of your Son, Christ our Lord. Grant us grace so to follow your blessed saints in all virtuous and godly living, that we may come to those inexpressible joys that you have prepared for those who truly love you. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and for ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is right to praise you, Father, Lord of all creation. In your love you made us for yourself. When we turned away you did not reject us, but came to meet us in your Son. In Christ you shared our life that we might live in him and he in us. On the night he was betrayed at supper with his friends, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to them, saying, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. At the end of supper, taking the cup of wine, he gave you thanks and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, 
which is shed for you for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in remembrance of me. As we proclaim his death and celebrate his rising in glory, send your Holy Spirit that this bread and this cup may be to us the body and blood of your dear Son. With your whole church throughout the world, we offer you this sacrifice of praise and lift our voice to join the eternal song of heaven. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. And so, as our Saviour taught us, so we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word, and I, sh I shall be healed. And so let us pray. God, the source of all holiness and giver of all good things, may we who have shared at this table, as strangers and pilgrims here on earth, be welcomed with all your saints to the heavenly feast on that day of your kingdom, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So before our final blessing, I'd like to just say, I hope as many of you as possible will be able to join us next week on the 14th of November at our Remembrance Day services in all three of our churches or in the afternoon at half past two at the Cenotaph in Goulburn as we remember those who have died in war, those who are striving for peace, those who are living in places where there is warfare and unrest. And I hope that you will continue to join us each month via video or come to our churches on Sundays and join us together so we can all worship together in the presence of God. And so may the peace of God which passes all understanding keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son Jesus Christ our Lord. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be upon you this day and always. Amen. Take care everyone and see you soon. God bless.